This was when Rosenwald helped to uh, finance the start of the school. Starting out, it was like this building was, was it, and teachers were in different places in the building. It just brings back so many memories, yeah. Uh, we used to have a, a wood stove in the middle of the room in order to heat uh, the room, and then uh, no air conditioned windows were used during the summer with no uh, screen on the windows. It was just you open the windows for the air. And what kept the little boys from running and jumping out the window? <laughs> Take it off. <laughs> Sometime they did. <laughs> it was like a home away from home. <laughs> you felt very comfortable. Children were, every once in a while they'd get mischievous, but they knew better. <laughs> Very close-knit community. Matter of fact, Jesse's family lived right down the road and some other relatives uh, is on the east side of I-35 because uh, they didn't have schools, you know, for blacks back then. And uh, after, I guess maybe in the early 60s is when we saw an increase in, you know, enrollment because uh, a lot of the people decided that they wanted to come here at Hopewell. And this was our pep squad, because there's Charlene and Nancy. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, there I am right up there. You can't mm -hmm. hardly yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. They call it pre primer mm -hmm. uh, We could start the school um, at four, at five, if we could, you know, uh, the family and the teacher could take us. As you progress on, you'll see that Hopewell's been in many different locations by name. I got to Hopewell Middle School. I had no idea of the history. There was a meeting at Old Hopewell, and when I got there, I saw the pictures. And someone said, well, you know, this was your school back in the 20s and 30s. I was like, so Hopewell was a school? So yeah, this was a school that the African-Americans went to. Then I learned about the Joe Lee Johnson as being the principal and the great things that he did, and it gave me a brand new meaning to being the principal of Hopewell. I mean, I'm getting a chance to do the same thing that Jolie Johnson had got a chance to do to make a difference to his graduates. Well, highest, our highest number at Hopewell was 1,638 kids at Hopewell. Uh, I want to say that came in uh, 2009, 2010. Uh, we had like 16 portables on the campus and, and we did, we were very successful. Oh my gosh, it was shoulder to shoulder. It was unreal. We work, yes, we made it work because that's what we do when we're in, in, the, in the teaching business. We make it work and we welcome all and we figure it out and keep on going. No one could slide. We all had to do our part plus a little bit more plus a little bit more. So yeah, it was, it, was a, it was a great time, but also a very tiring time. <laughs> I know we changed that campus. We made a difference academically in expectations. And we helped teachers to believe that this was the school that you can really work and get fulfilled in. We're Hopewellians and we have, we, we have to keep um, this learning going on and we have to be open, like I said, for everyone, welcoming everyone. And um, to think it started with the people that had never been educated before. Wow, what a great, what a great legacy. And I am so glad that I've been a part of it. It means that we're continuing the, the hope, continuing the opportunity to make kids believe that they not only can, but they're capable. And the opportunity to believe that they're just as good as anybody else. It makes us, makes me feel real good to know that I was part of a difference that was made. I didn't make the difference because I didn't do it by myself. But my fingerprints were all over it. So if anybody got arrested, I would have been guilty. The main thing is just remember Hopewell, period. And remember the fact that uh, we were here, we're still here, and we uh, deserve the recognition and the respect. It means that when you look at the legacy of it, it means that we got training, we got uh, uh, discipline, we got uh, knowledge from our teachers, and 
It just meant a whole lot because they taught us much more than just ABCs. They taught us life.